El Grande. Spain in the 15th century, 12 kingdoms, one country, one principality, and, you know, the Basque provinces. Five tribes spread, Spaniards, Basques, Galicians, Catalans, and Moors. The nobility, especially the grandes, or the grand ones, of high nobility held significant influence. However, the middle nobility, the caballeros, were themselves in possession of external privileges. All the regions of Spain were eager to develop their independence. The castillos, or castles, also pay, played an important role. All right. Players strategically placed their caballeros in regions to obtain points for majorities. At the end of the game, the player with the most points wins. All right, so what is it you guys are looking at? Well, this is a Cromer game. Ergo, we have a Cromer track around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. That's, that's a victory point track for those scoring at home. Uh, what else do we have here? We have the round track. As you can see, it's going to take place over nine rounds. We have a scoring track, which is going to take place in between the third and fourth, the sixth and the seventh, and after the ninth round. Then we have the nine regions. As you can see, they're color-coded for no important reason other than to different, differentiate themselves, as well as you have scoring uh, track, or not scoring tracks, but scoring uh, scoreboards for each of the regions for possibly a first, second, and third scoring. We have the Castillo, which is where we're going to be placing some of our Caballeros. Then, uh, obviously, we have the turn marker up there. Then off board, we have a number of things. We have the region cards, which all these are, are they're going to be dealt out at the beginning of the game to figure out where our grande workers go. In addition to that, we have the, oh shoot, I knew I was going to forget the name. Every, thank you. Yeah. Those are the action cards. These are the power cards. Mm -hmm. Everybody also starts with 21 of their caballeros in the province, which is basically uh, the bank. They do not have them yet. Then everybody also starts with nine here in their court. Thank you, in their court. So these are available, these are not available. We have the king's marker, we have two mobile, mobile scoreboards, we have the first player marker, and that's, oh, and of course, we have the secret discs there. So that's everything that you're looking at, as well as the grande worker, as I mentioned earlier. So how do you play the game? Well, as I said earlier, the game takes place over nine rounds. In between, or after the third, after the sixth, and after the ninth round, there are going to be three scoring rounds. Whoever has the most points wins. It's area majority. Plain and simple, that is what this game is all about. It is all about having the most workers, or the second most, or the third most, in one of these various regions, or also here in the Castillo, as you can see by the scoring on that. That is the whole point of the game. Get these guys out on the board and score ahead of scoring. Easy enough. Well, each of those nine rounds covers, or it follows the exact same five steps, or, well, four steps and maybe a fifth. The first one is reveal the action cards. Turn each of the action card decks face up. So what I want to show you guys is this will be the one Caballero deck, the two, the three, the four, and the five, and you can see that at the bottom. So these have all been shuffled up, and those are going to be available for acquiring. It's a five-player game. There are five cards. We're each going to be able to acquire one of those. Then we're going to play power cards. Each of us has a deck of cards ranging from 1 to 13. These are one-time use cards. So on your turn, it, whoever is the first player is going to choose one of these 13 cards, and then it will follow in likewise manner around the table. Then after that, each player is going to take their turn, which is taking caballeros from the province into their court, then they're going to ac execute an action card. Then after that, end of round, and then possibly a scoring round. Do that nine times, whoever has the most points wins. All right, revealing action cards. Before the game gets started, we will read these, and before each round, we will read these so everybody knows what five cards are available for us to be able to acquire during our turn. Then, playing power cards. That is pretty simple. They're going to play one card. Let's say I play the number five card. At that point, 
At that point, Jess is going to go. She's going to play a card. She can play any card above or below a five. She cannot play the five. Let's say she plays the eight, then Andrew will go. Can't play the five or the eight, so on and so forth around. Then whoever has played the highest number, meaning the number closest to 13 or possibly 13, will then take their turn. The first thing that's going to happen on their turn is they're going to get however many number of caballeros, as pictured here, from their province into their court. Now, unless there is a specific card out here, we are probably all going to do this simultaneously at the beginning once we have played our card. If there is a certain card that comes up, we won't because that may affect what cards you have here in your court. All right, so I would add these four into my court like so. Then after that, I choose one of the five cards. Now, each of these cards has two different bits of information. It has the main action on it, which is the written text, as well as kind of corresponds with the picture on it. But it also has the number of caballeros that you will place out on the board. Now, the king's region, and let's say the king's region starts there in Aragon. The king's region is uh, sacrosanct, would that be a good way to put it? It's exclusive, mm -hmm. stay out, you cannot do anything ever, 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 zero exceptions, never, where the king is. Whatever meeples or caballeros are in there will stay there. Nobody can add any, nobody can take from there, nobody can touch anything in the king's region, period. Have I made that clear? Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> However, You'll notice the number, the one, two, three, four, or five at the bottom of the card. Those are the number of caballeros that you can place from your court into applicable regions. I say applicable regions because where the king is does dictate where you can place. The reason is you must place adjacent to where the king is. So with him being in Aragon, we could place in any of these five regions. We cannot place in Galicia, Sevilla, or Granada. Those are off limits, and obviously we cannot place in Aragon, but in any other, you may place in any of those regions. In addition to that, and I guess I assume, but I shouldn't assume, you can always place in a Castillo. Now this is a bit secret in that, okay, if I throw, say I throw two in there, I announce the table, I put two in the Castillo. So if so, it's hidden trackable information, yes, but that's the way the game is. So I said I put two in there and maybe I put, maybe I took this three card and I put one here in Castilla La Nueva. Easy enough, boom, done, that's my turn. Now, you can do either of these in any order. You can either do what's on the card first and then place Caballeros, or you can place Caballeros and then do the event. Or, you can place caballeros and not do the event at all. However, if you choose to do the event, unless it says the word may, you must do everything that's written on the card. We do that in turn order, starting with whoever the first player was, which will be random at the first. After that, it will be whoever played the lowest number, meaning the one closest to one or possibly including one. We will do that in turn order, it may not go clockwise around the table. Each taking a card, and as cards get removed, they do not get flipped back up, so you were limited. The later you go in turn order, the fewer options that you have. Then after that, we go through end of round cleanup, then we go in to the next round. However, if it's a scoring round, and now would be a good time to go ahead and seed the board a little bit, if you guys could work with me a little bit. There we go, well done, that's good enough, fine. All right, hey, it's the end of the third round. We then go into a scoring round. A scoring round, we're going to do this very briefly. We're going to secretly choose one region. And... Give me three. There we go. We're gonna secretly choose a region and then once all of us have chosen a region like so, I don't bother, it's all right. <laughs> once we've chosen a region, then we're going to reveal the Castilla. Then it's going to be done in majorities. So in this case, Jess would get five points. It would be three, uh, let's say it were like this. 
If tied, you get the lower number, so red and yellow would each get one, pink would get none. At that point, then, we will reveal where we said our guys are going to go, and that's where they're going to go, all of them. However, if you, for whatever reason, choose where the king is, can you put them where the king is? No. Right, so they come back to your court. There may be a reason you want to do that more often than not, not the case though. Then after that, we then score every region going through this list, pe uh, pegging points as we go along. Then we go into the next round, do that nine times. Final scoring is this after the ninth round, whoever has the most points wins. Let's play El Grande. Yeah. All right. Mm. I did say it would be succinct, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you got that. Okay. Nice game that deserves succinctness. <laughs> All right, pink. Yep. Make sure everybody, make sure you have nine in your court. Yeah. Uh, let me just look for setup, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, so here we go. Uh, or do you guys, here. You what? guys choose your own. I don't want to be guilty. You're not guilty. <laughs> so, I have to have this. You go. I don't even know what it is, but I have to have it. All right, uh, and then the king goes in one as well. So the king will go in Catalonia. There we go. All right, this is where your uh, grande worker is going to go, and you're going to place two caballeros from, I believe, your court. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did you, did you oh, get no. it? <laughs> Can you go ahead and rum yourself right now? Can we start with <laughs> So you would think that the new Castile would be a good place to be because you know it has that big score. But me that means codes. everyone wants it. Because it's the highest scoring region. Yep. I don't think I've ever played this game and not started there. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the even hyperbole. The universe loves you. <laughs> I, I really don't think that's hyperbole. Uh, you want to bring up the camera? Yeah, I will. Uh, first player marker. Um, can we draw for first player, please, sir? Yep. 